Hello, welcome to Linda Likes Tarot. Hi, my name is Linda. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, what's up? I'm glad that you're back. Okay, so today this reading is going to be for whoever it's meant to be for. All right, don't forget to hit that like button, that subscribe button. Um, it really does help out the channel. I also would like to, you guys to know that I am grateful for all the donations that I have received from y'all. Um, you know I never asked for those and you guys are just following the guidance that you feel and you and you do it thank you um also i'd like to say thank you for all those who have gotten personal readings from me um it's always a pleasure to meet you guys um and to read for you let's see okay so listen i've okay I guess I'm going to say it. I just want to make sure I don't say anything bad in the first 10 minutes, okay? Let me... There's definitely something here when it comes to like a power struggle. A power struggle is going on here. Let me plug up this phone. Whoever I'm talking to, you could be feeling drained. Or maybe this is what someone wants you to do. Someone wants you to feel drained. Or somebody wants to plug themselves up to your power source. Okay. This could be someone who wants to ride your coat coattails or somebody that you did know that was riding your court coattails and you decided to kick them off of it. Okay? Um, this person could be angry. Okay? This person could be obsessed with you at the moment. This is someone who's definitely in their self notes still. I feel like this is someone who's still dealing with codependency issues. <clears throat> like there's, there's someone here that wants you to hold their hand through something whoever i'm talking to i feel like you're somebody who has already um went through your own struggles and you probably still are dealing with those but i feel like you had to do a lot of things alone and there's somebody else here that feels like um you're obligated to help them but like in a way where like you like someone wants you it's almost like that last read like someone feels like you should be down in the mud with them to help them get out of whatever they got going on or something or someone feels like someone sees nothing wrong with trying to slow you down when it comes to something here is what i'm getting in order for them to come up this could be someone trying to purposely stagnate you or block you from something, or this is something that happened in the past, okay? This could be happening in your workplace. This could be happen happening in a family dynamic, a relationship dynamic, a marriage, um, friendship, a relationship between you and your kids, place where it needs to go. Someone is definitely watching you, okay? Someone could actually be watching you through your windows. Don't have to be, though. Um, I don't want to freak you guys out if that's not happening, okay? Um, but I also feel like this is something happening on a bigger scale. I don't know why the divine keeps making me talk about something on a bigger scale. But there's something here. Okay. Something else, I, I'm just going to throw this in. I know it sounds random, but something about raspberry cheesecake is significant. I don't know if someone's eaten that recently or you, this is something you're really good at making. Something about raspberry cheesecake, okay? Or this is someone's favorite food that is the one that's obsessed with you, okay? There's something here about this power struggle, right? And I feel like it's something to do with um, what truth is, okay? I feel like if you're in, if you're watching me and you're in the tarot community you are a target if you're someone here who has a conspiracy channel you're a target 
if you're here and you have like you're in the public eye and you're talking about any form of politics you are a target okay if you're in the public eye and you're talking about religion doesn't matter good or bad you are a target there's something here about speaking facts in general makes you a target i know back back in the day like at least eight years ago i used to watch a lot of youtube where um the conspiracy channels were like p -p popping okay i was i was i was on them i was watching them all the time okay and they you don't really see any of those channels anymore on youtube because they this platform has demonetized them okay they have slowly drove them out and that's why a lot of them are on patreon and i feel like that's kind of happening to the tarot community if you guys aren't like like if you think about it that's kind of what's happening um whoever is behind this because I, I feel like whatever this power struggle is it's something bigger than what we are discussing in our tarot channels like it's not just about relationships that we're talking about like there's things that we're saying that is truth that we may not even realize that we even know like we may not even know that we're we're spilling the beans on something that you know what i mean i hope i'm making sense there are certain things <sighs> this is really hard to talk <laughs> okay just think about the mandela effect okay it's almost like there's a force out here that wants you to remember what they want you to remember they want you to believe what they believe is truth they want you to think how they want you to think they want to tell you what truth is something like that is happening okay and you're being called to have faith at this time a lot of you could be having a lot of certain dreams Also, for a lot of you, you guys could be um, being, you guys could be noticing that you're being stalked, okay? Organized stalking could be a thing. Um, I've been experiencing that since 2014, even before I picked up a tarot deck. Okay. Um, you you get used to it after a while you just learn not to you learn not to fucking care is what you do okay can you tell me more yeah there's you're gonna find out whoever this person is who's been trying to have a power struggle with you this person now wants to cooperate with you this person, this organization, this church. That's what's going on here. Yeah. And I feel like it's because like you, whatever you're doing, you're in your purpose. Whether it's in some sort of religion sector, uh, political sector, spiritual self sector, whatever this is, whatever you're doing, you're supposed to do it. There's, there's, um, I keep getting something about the feds. Okay. I don't know. The feds know something or something has been rewritten something about a document not being signed properly or not being signed at all and that's why they need 
to work with you. Someone needs to work with you. Okay. Yeah, someone needs to work with you. And I feel like um, there's a benefit if they work with you. Ciao. Can you tell me more? Yeah, we have confidence is the key to your success. Okay. And this is new moon in Leo. So you need to have confidence at this time when it comes to the situation. We have surrender to the divine. Someone here is deciding to just surrender whatever power struggle they got going on here. Okay. I feel like it's because your confidence is too... You... Someone was hoping that you didn't have confidence, okay? This is why this person now has to like pull up the red, or what is it called? Pull out that white flag of surrender. Yeah, there's some sort of issue here that's gonna be resolved. I'm also getting for some of you, you're holding on to something because you're you're not confident that things are going to be worked out. Someone really needs to like... believe that things are going to be fine here. Someone doesn't believe it. Okay. We have South Node. It says, don't let your past hold you back. Someone here could be a Leo or you could have Leo somewhere in your chart. Someone here could be a Cancer or have Cancer somewhere in your chart. Oh, it is hot up in her. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what signs are involved in the situation? What signs? You could be a Scorpio. Or you could be dealing with a Scorpio. Someone really was trying to have a lot of control in a situation here. We have Cancer. You could be dealing with a Cancer. Or someone has Cancer somewhere in their chart. Tell me more. We have Taurus. You could be a Taurus. Or you could be dealing with a Taurus. Tell me more. You could be a Capricorn. Or you could be dealing with a Capricorn. You could be a Libra. Or you could be dealing with a Libra. Okay, and then we got Sag. You could be a Sag or you could be dealing with a Saggy. Someone feels like they really want to cooperate with you. Someone is now seeing things from your side, like things are fair, like it should be this way. I don't know. I'm getting annoyed because whatever, whatever this person or people put you through is not, it's... It's not going to just take a, a, a I'm sorry, a simple I'm sorry to make up for what you've went through on whatever they did. Okay. It's not going to, it's going to take more than that. Ciao. Yeah, there is something here about, like, something about the past. Like, you really had to have a very positive attitude. Or constantly reinforce your beliefs on a day-to-day -day basis because of the, the screwed-up reality that you were living in, okay? That's for some of you. This is giving me like harassment. Something is going to be settled in court or something. The feds could know because this says the feds already know. Someone here. Let's get Alberta and see what the heck is going on here. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, we're gone. We got 1010. Something is finally being completed when it comes to this power struggle or when it comes to like you being effed with, okay? 
only one. Somebody's cousin could be involved in this situation or somebody's sister. Um, we have digging through your trash to find evidence or spell work. So someone here could have been doing this. Whoever I'm talking to, you could be getting a witness protection order soon because of something that you were going through. The feds know about this. Tell me more, spirit. We have praying mantis. Whoever I'm talking to, like, I'm getting something about, like, a prayer warrior. Like, you have prayed a lot, okay? And you have witnessed the power of prayer. We have stay strong. They're coming back to try to change your mind. So there's someone here that's coming back to you to try to change your mind on some sort of belief or stance that you have, okay? Or decision that you've made here. It says they're mad because you're fucking up the church's money. What was I saying? This is what this is all about. A church or an organization upset because you're changing the hearts and minds of others to connect with source in an alternative way and they do not like this. That's for some of you. Tell me more, Spirit. Someone here could have been doing this to you. Okay, while you were sleeping. They already know. Something might be happening one month from now. Or something significant happened a month ago when it comes to your cousin. Or when it comes to this, this could have been, this astral traveling could have been happening a lot a month ago. Okay. Someone here could have been having the help of this, Darugs, in order to uh, help them astral travel in your dreams. I'm also getting like whatever this church or organization is that's upset with some of y'all. This is this is also too like if you just left a church. Okay. They could be upset about this. They could have been trying to find evidence on you of drugs in your trash. Listen, I know this happened to me. Back in 2014, I left the church and they stole my whole, the whole trash can. And my stepdad came to me to complain about it because he knew who they were. There's a lot of documentaries when it comes to this church that I'm speaking about, okay? We have tried to break into your house. Somebody here could have tried to break into your house or they already did. Confirmation. Tell me more, spirit. We have Monarch Butterfly. Someone here was trying to fuck up your mentality. Someone here was trying to, to fuck up your sanity. This is all about mind control. They want you to believe what they want you to believe. I'm also getting whoever I'm talking to. You could be seeing a lot of these butterflies, okay? We have married couple. Something about a married couple is very significant when it comes to the situation. There could be a married couple here who has been behind trying to... This could be a married couple that's in a church or that is heavily involved in a church. Okay? Or an organization that you're dealing with. Tell me more, Spirit. 
Remember, they want to work together with you now. <laughs> it's up to you if you want to. Tell me more, spirit. We got the FBI. The FBI knows this. The FBI knows everything here. The FBI knows that someone here tried to break into your house. Or this was the FBI. I don't know. Nothing surprises me these days. Okay. We have copyright. Something about copyright infringement. Your cousin could have been using your photographs or your um, Instagram or Twitter or something. Somebody who could have been um, copycatting as you in order to get financial gain. That's for some of you, okay? That's not all, y'all. You need to know that justice is on your side when it comes to this. Someone knows that if someone was posing to be you or trying to impersonate you, the, the proper authorities already know who you are, okay? They already know the truth, so don't worry. Okay, all you need to do is sit there and be patient. Tell me more. Yeah, we have good vibes here. You got nothing but good vibes coming to you. Okay, good vibes coming to you only. Someone here is about to get, um, someone might get charged with something because who they were associating with. Okay. This is someone who, whoever they're associating with is somebody who's very obsessed with death. Okay, this could be a Scorpio. Don't have to be. This could be a Pisces. This could be a Leo. This could be a Libra. Okay. This also could be someone who's, well, this could be a Virgo. This could be someone who's very obsessed with Edgar Allan Poe. Don't have to be. You could be. Place where I need to go. I'm getting the word morbid. Someone here could be very morbid. I'm getting something about necromancy. Um, someone could like to, um, there's someone here that likes to, uh, have relations with bodies that are unalived. Tell me more. We have coworker. This could be your coworker. I'm also getting there's a coworker here that's going to get in trouble for some sort of copyright infringement here. This is something that could have happened one month ago or something that's going to happen a month from now. Okay? This is someone who doesn't have empathy. So there's someone here that doesn't, child, this is someone who doesn't care. I'm also getting this, this coworker is bisexual. This is someone that's trying to copy you or already has. Someone, child, someone's trying to ruin your reputation. We have bookworm here. There's some sort of dark secrets here or something that has been hidden that is going to be revealed here. I'm also getting like someone cooked the books. So there's something about information that has been altered. Okay. Somebody's first, middle, or last name could start with an H here. That could be the initial of you or the initial of your cousin or your coworker. Okay. Someone here is going to get handcuffed soon. I'm also getting like somebody needed your your um, credit. Someone needed your line of credit for something. It could have been this married couple. You were um, you were a blood sacrifice here, and you need to pray and be grateful because the divine has helped you out of something here. Okay. Whatever this is, their attempts to try to do this to you, it's over. With this 1010, it's over. Okay. There's a judge out here that's probably gonna have to step down from their job. We have judge judges messy. This judge's first middle or last name could start with an F. Okay. 
someone's coming in with some sort of fake apology that's probably going to piss you off. Okay. <laughs> What's this? Yeah, we got manifestation mode 369. You out here manifest manifesting, okay? And someone a coworker out here could be very jealous or upset about this. Your cousin could be jealous or upset about this, okay? Or they have been jealous or upset about this for a whole entire month. Someone cannot stand seeing other people win. That is sad. We have armed robbery, okay? So I feel like someone could have been trying to plan this, okay? Or this is what they're planning, okay? Someone's gonna get handcuffed, so it doesn't matter, okay? Impersonating an officer. So there's somebody here that was trying to impersonate you, okay? I keep getting, okay, I'm hearing authorized user. So somebody here could have been impersonating themselves as an, as the authorized user of an account or of something here, okay? This has already been um, revealed as false, okay? So don't worry about that. You guys could be seeing 111, okay? You need to know that you are lovable and you're deserving of love. Someone here is about to get raided, okay? There's someone here that, there could be a church here that does traffic or does, they, they launder money for drugs and they're going to get raided, okay? Somebody's first, middle, or last name could start with a V. Someone here is a very sassy ass person. This could be you or someone else. We have Aurora Runaway. Someone here is going to try to go on the run. It could be this married couple that's trying to go on the run, Okay. We have loud laugh, okay? You could have a loud laugh, this person could have a loud laugh, or you're gonna have a good loud laugh when you find out that these people got arrested for whatever they did, okay? We have girlfriend. Someone's girlfriend here could be upset with you, okay? We got grandma. Something about somebody's grandma is significant. Or you could be this person's girlfriend. For some of you, you're sleeping with the enemy. Tell me more. Maybe you don't realize. We have crime was personal. Somebody did something against their ex-girlfriend or ex-boyfriend. Okay, some sort of crime here was personal. Somebody's first, middle, or last name could start with an ex. Something about someone's grandma and grandpa. Damn. Okay, someone here could be of the Jewish faith. Okay, or could be of, could be Hebrew. We have trying to make you feel guilty. So someone here is going to try to make you feel guilty for something here. This could be an ex of yours. It says, does things on or for the dark web? Chow. Someone here is about to get justice. For whatever this gross stuff is. So this could be a church that um, is of the Jewish faith or something about the Kabbalah or something. All right. Where the heck? What's up with this? Oh, 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 child, listen. Okay. Yeah, there's a karmic friend or karmic or a a coworker that you think is a friend, that's not your friend. Someone here has been trying to copy off you or ride your coattails this whole time. This person secretly does not like you, okay? Also, there's a man here that is attempting to travel towards you. He wants to try to make you his girlfriend because he sees that you're manifesting at this time. We keep getting this story. No. That's a no, yeah. They want to come in and offer their love to you. Um, who is this coworker? Damn. Okay. This coworker could be a Gemini or they could have Gemini somewhere in their chart. Okay. Um, this Gemini is ratting on everyone or they're gossiping about everyone's business. Someone here could be a player, or this Gemini could be a player, place where it needs to go, okay? 
if someone wants to come in and act like they're nurturing and supportive, but they're not. So for instance, say you are at work and you get a promotion. You, this coworker that you could have been cool with all of a sudden starts acting weird with you because something good is happening in your life, okay? You need to separate yourself from this individual because this person is telling you how they truly feel about you, okay? Or maybe this is something that already happened. Somebody was able to get the key or get access to your house. I don't know how the fuck uh, they did this, but they did. They did this so they could try to end something for you with this key, dog, and coffin. Clarifying, tried to break into your house. That don't look good. There's someone here that you thought you could trust with your key. And you won't find out that you that was a bad choice. Bad news bears. Okay, this could have been even someone that goes to church with you. That's for some of you, not all y'all. Okay? Or someone that you who has the same religious beliefs as you so you felt like this is someone you could trust because you felt like they share the same moral values as you you were wrong okay what is this yeah whoever's coming in to try to act like they want to nurture and support your ass is someone who's trying to take you out this could be someone with a Chinese zodiac sign of a rat. Or this is your sign. Place it where you need to go. Okay? Who does things in the dark web? There's a soulmate here of yours that does something um, on the dark web. This could be a Scorpio. I keep getting Scorpio. There's a Scorpio out here that you could have been in a romantic relationship with or just friends. And this person has done something weird on the dark web. I feel like maybe even this person could be saying that you're their girlfriend on the, on the dark web. Okay? Using your images or something. What the hell is going on? Yeah, this person is stalking you. The Scorpio is. Yeah. This person is trying their best to... um. Have people have a bad, uh, have people see you in a bad light or ruin your reputation. I'm also getting this person's about to get a bad reputation for being a stalker or they've had a, and this is their reputation. Like everyone knows this person as a stalker. Okay. This person, this person is either trying to ruin your reputation because you do have good vibes and this irritates them or, <laughs> bosh. Or this person is stalking you because they like your energy. Okay. I try so hard. I can't rise above it. Dun, 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 Cause I like it. I love it. Wait. Cause I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. How's that song go? I try so hard. I can't rise above it. I don't know. Somebody likes your, uh, somebody can't get enough of you. This could be someone who's from the country because that's a, that's a country song. Somebody really wants you to be their girlfriend. You could be someone who's real sassy. <laughs> That's weird. Someone's waiting on a time for you to be dumb. I keep getting this. I'm also getting like someone keeps waiting for you. But like, I feel like whoever I'm talking to, you've made it abundantly clear that you're not interested. I'm also getting this person who's trying to cock block anybody else from trying to like um, ask you out or something. Maybe somebody did something on the dark web so that people would, I don't know, to tarnish your character so no one would want to be with you or something. But you need to know, it's so nobody else would want to love you, but you need to know that you were lovable, okay? I'm also getting, if you have a passed over grandfather, your grandfather loves you, okay? And is protecting you at this time. 
And you need to stay strong because someone's coming in with some sort of like offer here. This could be somebody from your community that wants to come in and give you something, surprise you with something. Who the hell is this spirit? What is it? Who is this person that's coming in? This person could be a Taurus. Or you could be a Taurus. Place where you need to go. Tell me more. Who is this person? This person is coming in to try to nurture and support you. That's the energy they're coming in with. This person is a false flame to you. Tell me more. Yeah, somebody here is very karmic. This person, this karmic is nearby you. <laughs> Creepy. This person could be an Aquarius. Or you're an Aquarius. Place where he needs to go. Please. I'm not your mama. I'm not your daddy. Okay. Tell me more spirit. What's up with this freaking Jewish church? Ew. Listen. Someone's trying to trying to find a clever way to either um, get to you through your family or trying to strategize. There's a church here that has been strategizing with your family in order to com commit some sort of fraud or to investigate you. Somebody's trying to find a way for you to be a, a team player. Or someone's trying to find a way to like, I don't know, there's something about real estate that's very significant with this church and you and your family. Yeah, there's some, oh my God, this was at the bottom of the deck. There's some sort of secret or mystery about this. There's some knowledge that they've been trying to hide from you. It's about a real estate or, or a job. It's creating a lot of drama because there's some sort of money or wealth involved in this situation there could be up to three people that are the three main people that know if you get this they're going to be left out or in poverty or these people are anxious about this happening they've been trying to delay this as much as they can by trying to hide this information from you but it's coming out anyways yeah some of you are going to be forced to move or some of you are going to get a promotion there's some sort of new phase or new beginning that's happening in your life and they've been really trying to, to, to stop this i'm also getting someone here could have been really trying hard to to, to i can't even to do i can't even talk to stop some sort of uh mail or information communication getting to you okay <sighs> I'm also getting, um, with this song, Aurora Runaway, there's someone here that's always, like, been trying, this is someone who likes to escape reality, so this could be someone who uses drugs themselves as well. Who's getting handcuffed? Someone's only gonna get, um, someone, want, okay, whoever these people that are involved, okay, They're only going to be put in jail for a short amount of time. Someone's going to bail them out. Someone here could have a um, a Chinese zodiac sign of a pig here. Note the date. Okay. This person could be a Scorpio or they can have Scorpio somewhere in their chart. Or your Scorpio. Place it where it needs to go. Or someone's getting handcuffed for something here. Yeah, this person is karmic. Whoever this person is, they're very karmic in your world. Um, so just rest assured that everything's going to be fine, but someone here is going to try to snake you. They're going to try to come through. Yeah, this is a karmic soulmate. This person wants to come through and try to partner with you before your new connection comes in. Okay. That's all this is. Um, tell me more about him. Ew. Okay. I'm also getting like somebody was really hell bent on trying to get you arrested. Someone really wanted to see you in handcuffs. That's for some of y'all. Okay. For speaking something. For talking about something. 
something like that is very significant. It could have been just as simple as you talking about family issues is the reason why someone wanted you to be in handcuffs. This ex definitely wants you back. This person is definitely hooked on your sexual energy or your, or just your energy in, in general. Someone here is definitely trying to take a, a, a closer look into your life or trying to be all up in your business, okay? Um... Yeah, there's someone here that's definitely going to try to do something to you. You need to dust it off. Because you got a lot of good things coming to you. It is hot as hell up in here. <laughs> Swear to God. Okay. What else is going on? What else do we need to know, Spira? I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. I try so hard. I can't ride the bullet. I'm getting delusional now. <laughs> the heat. <laughs> Listen, for all y'all in the comments being like, get a fan. I do have a fan. Okay. But if I turn it on, it's going to be too loud. And then you'll, then I'll get comments like, I can't hear you. And we're not doing that. Tell me more, spirit. Okay, someone here could be an environmentalist or you're someone here who really cares about nature or you feel very connected to, to Gaia or Mother Earth or you could be Earth sign. Someone here is very competitive or someone here goes to the gym a lot. Okay, whatever I'm talking to, you could have an, uh, an athletic body. Tell me more, spirit. Yeah, there's someone here that is upset because they're in fear that they're going to be broke or it's because they already are one. They already are one. They already are. Um, yeah, somebody could have found out that they lost something today. Tell me more. Okay, yeah, sassy is coming out here twice. I don't know who I'm talking to, but you one sassy motherfucker, okay? You about to get filthy rich. That's for some of you. Maybe that's why these people is mad. Tell me more, spirit. Beautiful, dirty, dirty, rich. <laughs> I can't. We got drunk. Someone here could be drunk. Whoever this person is that's been trying to compete with you, they, they, they trying to drown their sorrows away right now. Okay, this person also could be a lightweight when they drink. Tell me more. Or this person could be um, small in stature. We have OCD here. Someone here is very OCD. Or someone's like freaking out because um, their money is funny right now, okay? This could be someone who's always getting stoned, okay? Or always getting inebriated. Tell me more. I wear my sunglasses at night so I can... Someone could be like watching you at night incognito, incognito, ito. Something's, someone's doing something on the freaking internet. They're searching things up on incognito, nito. I think that's how you say it. When your, when your web browser is hidden or something someone's trying to stay hidden while they watch you <laughs> there's someone here that really doesn't like someone feels someone's not someone has an intolerance to your sassiness i'll say that someone here could be very insecure okay someone here could be very jealous of you and they're drunk Okay, we got hot. It could be really hot right now where you're at. <laughs> or someone's really like hot, like someone's really angry because they're losing out on some sort of investment here or some sort of money. We have goat here. Somebody somebody here is the greatest of all time. <clears throat> Someone here is thirsty for you. Or someone's gonna be coming to you like all desperate like, okay? Um, because they're losing everything. Okay, well, it's because of whatever they've been trying to do or whoever they were associated with when it came to trying to bring you down. 
to overpower you, to try to dominate you in some way, okay? Um, the thing is, like, they, they're not trying to dominate you. They're, they're trying to don dominate God's will. Sorry. Someone here is about to get divorced, or you're going to hear about someone being divorced, or you're, or you're a divorce A, okay? Or someone's getting divorced because someone here drinks too much. Tell me more. Someone here is about to become famous. Whoever this sassy person is. Okay, someone someone here needs to drink more Wawa. I'm also getting like somebody here needs your energy. Okay. I'm also getting like with this tone deaf here, it's like there's somebody here that's not realizing how they sound when they talk about you, when they talk ill about you. Because people are looking at them now like, why are you saying, like for instance, this person could be saying like, oh, did you know, like this jealous drunk person <laughs> could be talking ish about you being like, oh, did you know that the collective, like, She's a hot mess. She drinks all the time. She's this, she's that. She, She's so codependent. But this person literally is doing those things. And people are looking at them like, bitch, what are you talking about? Okay? You're sleeping with the pool boy and you just did a line of coke or something like that is going on. Okay? We have a dad bod here. Someone could be out of shape. Okay? This person could be in love with you. Um, and there's someone here who's an atheist. So someone here don't believe in nothing. <laughs> this person could find you annoying because you believe in something. Okay. Or this is someone who is annoying. Who the hell is this person? This annoying person could be a Gemini or they have Gemini somewhere in their chart. Okay, or people are finding this Gemini annoying if they're going around spreading a lot of rumors about you or talking about you all the time. Okay, they could be an Aries could find this person annoying or you're an Aries. Place that we need to go. Why do we have atheists? This horse could be an atheist. North, no, the date. Tell me more or that's your sign. Place that we need to go. Whoever's trying to come in and, and nurture and support you, this person, how can they nurture and support you? You and this person don't even believe in the same situation. This person's also coming in to try to offer you some sort of stability and companionship. So, but they don't believe in God. This person is very insecure. So this could be an Aries. Don't have to be because Aries is out here. Or it could be an Aquarius that's an atheist. This could be someone who thinks they know everything. Or this is someone who's too stuck in like, um, this is someone who's too dependent on science-based shit. Cancer, Cancer, Scorpio. Listen, Cancer or Scorpio, you're going to be famous. That's for some of y'all. Okay. Or Saggy. Someone's false flame, someone's false flame is a Sag, for show. Hmm. Yeah, there's an Aries that's jealous of a Virgo or vice versa, or these two are people who are jealous and drunk. I'm over it. There's someone here that admires you somewhere. There's someone here that's gonna get arrested Someone here hates your good vibes, but also loves them. I don't know why, but that's what's going on. Um, someone knows 
that you're about to get something good coming through and someone wants to stop that so just be aware of your surroundings and what you're dealing with because people out here is wiling tell me more spirit what the heck yeah you're gonna be receiving help soon okay someone here it keeps coming out someone here keeps drinking and they think that they're untouchable while they're drinking so someone here might try to do something reckless to you but i feel like even if they try i still think you don't care <laughs> okay like we have lips are sealed it's like someone wants you to say something to them like just say something that's the vibe i'm getting Ooh, dang this what the okay tell me more Whoever I'm talking to, you are a powerful light worker. It says it's safe for you to be powerful. Your spiritual power brings great blessings and loving service to the divine. Okay. And then we have Archangel Michael. Archangel Michael is coming in to help you. It says you're or already has been. It says you're you are working very closely with this powerful archangel who is protecting and guiding you through this situation. Okay. You have a lot of wisdom. You're not like everybody else. You're very unique, like this unicorn. Some more. Yeah, something about your love life definitely is going to be improving because you are able to balance your masculine and feminine energies. Okay? Someone wants to come travel towards you. I'm also getting there's something about someone's transportation that is fucked up. And that could have been something that's holding this person back. Whoever I'm talking to, you're a high priest or a high priestess, or there's a high priest and a high priestess that are going to be coming together, okay? Yeah, this person is going to be your spouse. Someone's really in fear of this happening. You could be from Atlantis or your spouse is. You guys both went through a lot of persecution. An intense questioning about you being spiritual or you being um, in between worlds. In between this world and that world. Something like that. Damn. Can you tell me more? Can you tell me more? So we had Scorpio, we had Cancer out here, we had Aries, we had Virgo, we had Taurus. Who else we had? Aqu Aquarius, did I say that already? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what else do they need to know? Yeah, you could work very closely with crystals or you need to to help you at this time. Okay. Then we have indigo. It says the person you're inquiring about is an indigo, meaning a highly sensitive, natural born leader. Okay. I keep hearing that song. We have integrity. Okay. It says align your actions so that they match your values and inner knowingness of what's right for you. So stay true to yourself. Hold on to that integrity or, or, Always do things, okay, with integrity. We have books. It says your life purpose involves writing, reading, editing, or selling spiritually based books. That's for some of y'all. Okay. Are there something about a book here that you might need to read that could help you find out some more information about yourself that someone has been trying to hide from you? Or this group has been trying to hide from you. See, when you're on this journey, you have to do a lot of your own personal research and digging. That's like part of it. That's part of the journey. Okay? You don't just take one class and then you know everything. Or you this It's part of the process. Someone needs to hear that. I know not everyone who's watching me is at that stage. But someone needs to hear that. Can you tell me more? What else is going on? 
We have grounding. It's important to ground yourself at this time. Okay, because you're going through a purification process. Okay. Damn, we got breach with this whale here. There's going to be some sort of breakthrough here with this whale. Yeah, this is something that has been promised to you. Or whatever you've been praying for, or whatever you prayed for, or try to manifest on the new moon, it's coming in, okay? Damn, we got power. The power of prayer. The power of manifestation is coming through. You're going to see it. If you prayed for karmic justice, you're going to see it. It's coming in. I'm also getting like someone really doesn't like your power, but it don't matter. Okay? And remember to go with the ebbs and flows of life. Okay? Do not try to resist it. Who is this new love interest? Ciao. Something about trusting and letting go of control is a situation. And some of y'all, for this person to come in, you need to release your ex because your ex is full of deception. Or you're deceiving yourself about how you truly feel about your ex. Some of you could be still holding on to your ex and that's causing your new love to not come through. That's for some of you. Okay. It's important to cut cords and to forgive. Lovingly forgive. What else is anything here? Tonight? We have mirror. It says in order to change my life outside, I need to change inside. Once I am open to this change, my exterior reality will begin to mirror those new shifts. So listen, if you guys are feeling stagnant and you're feeling like I don't understand why I can't move forward or things aren't changing in my life in a positive direction, I keep trying to manifest this, that, and this, and it's not coming through, or I keep praying for this and that and it's not coming through, it's because there's something here that um, needs to change within you. There could be a mindset change that needs to happen. You might need to change the type of food you're eating. This could mean that you need to change how you feel about a certain other person. You might need to let someone go emotionally. Um, you might need to forgive that person. Because a lot of the time it has to do with your heart chakra. That's how you manifest things. So if you're out here with a heavy heart and you're out here sneak dissing people or saying negative shit to people or um, wishing ill will on others, regardless if they did you wrong or not, you're holding yourself back. You're cursing yourself. That's what's going on here. Okay. What's going on, on the inside is a projection of what's going on on the outside of you, okay? We have personal journey. It says, I follow what feels right within me without needing validation from others. We are each on our own journey and mine does not need to look like anyone else's. My enjoyment and satisfaction is validation enough. Okay, so I'm, I'm also getting something about codependency could be an issue right now. Some of you may uh, be very codependent on certain people or certain vices and that needs to be cut out. The only thing you should be codependent on is, is source, the creator, okay? God, <laughs> your angels, your spirit team, okay? We got magic at the bottom of the deck. It says, there is magic and miracles all around me. Where others see coincidence, I see evidence of life's synchronicities. I love filling life with wonder and magic. It's way more fun that way. So you need to believe in magic. You need to make room for magic. There's a need to surrender here. There's a lot of control. There's a lot of holding on to shit. That can't come in the new. It can't come with you. P certain people can't come with you. Certain mentalities can't come with you in this new new okay tell me more spirit 
You need to, you need to literally be in these good vibes. Regardless if you're being stalked, regardless if you're being gang stalked, regardless if you know that you have threats of, on your life. You need to learn to not care because when you start worrying and caring and getting all worked up emotionally about it, you're giving them power. Power that they don't even deserve. Okay. We have infinite creativity. At any moment, I am able to tap into an infinite source of energy and creativity within me. Unique ideas flow through, each one capable of blossoming into beautiful creations. You got some beautiful things coming your way. You got unique opportunities coming your way. And if the heart space ain't cleared up, you might self-sabotage this shit. That's for some of y'all. It says, unique opportunities aligned with my desires present themselves to me. I attract all that I need to make my dreams a reality. Okay? It's time to trust in yourself. It's time to believe in you in what you're able to create. There's no such thing as you not being able to create something here. Like somebody here could be putting um, limits on themselves. No, 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 no. Okay, knock it out. What do they need to hear, Charmant? It says, treat yourself to something beautiful today. Okay, we have tune into your inner peace. Be what you want to see is what I'm getting. Tell me more. And we have embrace your inner divine goddess. So if I'm talking to a feminine energy and you've been forced to step into your masculine energy because of certain certain circumstances that have been, um, you have been put into, okay? Or life has led you to that or whatever this is. It's time to step into your feminine energy. So you can open that heart space, okay? And for my masculines, it's time for you to step into your feminine energy, okay? But don't don't be going all the way. Just, you know, you know what I'm saying. We got turn We have turned criticism into kindness. All right? Be kind to yourself, be kind to others. got a lot of good things coming okay you need to know that some of you are going to be developing new gifts soon we have clear sentience dang some of you about to get some new um ideas or you're going to be receiving some new knowledge since I am bringing you es esoteric information and symbols and helping you to understand spiritual truths. So you're going to start understanding something more deeply or you're going to be enlightened to something soon. We have teaching and learning. It says keep an open mind and learn new ideas. Then teach these ideas to others. So something about studying or something about a spiritual book that you might need to pick up and start reading. Okay, it says hello from heaven. It says you are, your loved ones in heaven are doing fine let go of worries and fears um, and feel their loving blessings, okay? It says, notice your reoccurring physical and emotional feelings as they signify divine guidance. You are being divinely guided. Please do not ignore the guidance. You've been asking and praying for help and they're giving it to you. Somebody is not listening to it. We have chakra clearing. It says, call upon me to clear and open your chakras using sacred ge geometric shapes. And somebody here, your career is about to change. It says, your life purpose is triggering a blessed career change. So whatever you're here to do of service of others, 
okay for the greater good is what i'm getting someone someone here might want to come in and offer you something because whoever i'm talking to you're in your north node and this is going to bring a lot of success to you someone's aware of who you are okay this is going to be the end of your reading don't forget to like comment, share, subscribe. If you're interested in a personal reading, please check my description box below. Also, if you'd like a discount on readings, not by me, by another talented reader, um, go check out uh, mysticsense.com. Okay, that's also in my description box. Until next time, I love you guys. Bye.